now example 3.21 figure gives the x versus t plot of a particle in one dimensional motion three different equal intervals of time are shown in which interval is the average speed greatest and in which is it the least give the sign of average velocity for each interval now see here position time graph and for the given time interval if we find out the slope of that position time graph then it will give you average speed okay now see here suppose we think about the time interval this first one then here see during this time interval for this particular part of the graph if we find out the slope then that small line is upward means here you can observe x2 is greater than x1 so for this part the slope that is positive so velocity is positive okay then for second one here this one is also positive one but suppose you think about this third time interval then this downward line so here x2 is more negative compared to x1 so the slope that will be negative clear so here in this region velocity is positive for second one also positive for third one it is negative clear so slope of x versus t graph is a, in a small time interval that is average speed in that time interval as the slope of x versus t is greatest in time interval 3 and least in interval 1 so the average speed is greatest in interval 3 and least in interval 1 as the slope of x versus t is positive in interval 1 and 2 and negative in internal interval 3 so average velocity is positive in intervals 1 and 2 and negative in interval 3 clear to all of you